as an artist, you sometimes reach a point where you start to hate everything you do. You start hating your own style, start to see mistakes where no mistake was before, you want to become better and you have no idea how. <laughs> Suddenly you feel not able to continue. Every time you start over it's getting even more worse. What should you do if you start to hate your own art? Hating your own art can be part of an art blog. What I always like to do is to take a step back instead of forcing myself to continue drawing and getting even more frustrated. Because if you start blaming yourself then it's not healthy for your soul and it will lead you right into an art blog. So make yourself a warm cup of tea make yourself comfortable and just take a break. Every artist went through the same struggle and managed to overcome the stage and sometimes they will find themselves again in this struggle and it's not even a big deal if you know what to do. As frustrating as it gets, it's even a good sign for your own improvement to see all those mistakes and being dissatisfied. It sounds weird but the weird thing is that it's like a cycle it comes again and again. So your visual ability and your drawing skills are not at the same level anymore in this stage. So what's happening now is that your visual ability makes a level up and your drawing skills just need some more experience points to get at the same level. It's like it's chasing your visual ability. Let's say the artist is a video game character. So what does he need to reach a level up? He collects experience points. In this case, these points are practice. So the artist game character can catch up with his visual ability if he makes a level up through collecting practicing points. It won't happen directly, practice needs time. But after catching up, everything is just normal. And sometimes it happens that his drawing skills are overtaking his visual ability. And most of the time that are these moments like on one day you draw a picture and it's the best you have ever created. You're super proud and happy and the next day you're like Ugh, what the hell how could I ever think this was a great picture. Everything looks like poo. That's the moment when your visual ability is at the top again. So time again to catch up with your drawing skills. That means practice, practice, practice. And that's just a learning curve that goes up if you always practice and you always improve. After knowing the circle, it's a little bit easier to understand what's happening with us. The problem is, most of the time you can't really tell what exactly you need to improve and how to improve. At this state, everything you do seems off. Now you need to know what exactly looks off and how to change it. So it's time to analyze your own works line by line. Hardest part is not to critique yourself like everything looks like poo, I'm a bad artist, I will never be as good as this other artist. This is just the wrong way and won't help you getting out of this struggle. Step one is to stop blaming yourself for seeing mistakes. Keep in mind that this is just part of self-improvement. If you are not able to see your own mistakes, you will never find room for improvement. So just keep that circle and the little artist game character in your mind who's always collecting practicing points to level up. Okay? <laughs> so now let's take a look at your art. Pick some pictures you really like, the newest ones and the ones you hate, and place them on the floor. Next, take a piece of paper and a pen. And then ask yourself, what do you like at your art? What are your art goals? Like style or the mood you want to have in your pictures um, or something like a genre. What don't you like at the moment about your style? And what do you need to improve to reach your goals? Think about these questions while looking at your art like you're someone else and write down what you think but without blaming yourself. Don't write something like, the hand looks bad. Explain why you think it looks bad and what you could change to make it look good. Try to find out what your weak and your strong points are. If it's too hard for you to analyze your works without blaming, just ask a friend or someone you trust to help you. 
self-critique is not easy, especially if you're in a bad mood. After analyzing and writing, pick some works you made about one or two years ago and your most recent ones. Place them next to each other and look closely. Can you see your own improvement? What has changed up until now? Even the slightest change is a progression. Be honest with yourself and don't, don't play your improvement. But if you really feel like everything stayed the same, then you will have know the facts in your hand that you need to practice more intensive and maybe get out of your comfort zone. Because it seems like you're stuck. Most of the time, if you feel insecure about your actual improvement, it can be really helpful to take a look at your older works. Because while drawing, we can't see our own growing, because we grow and change daily as much as we practice. So if you draw and practice on a regular basis, you will improve faster. But sometimes you will reach that point again, where your eyes will see a lot of mistakes popping up, and then the circle starts again. Seeing your own mistakes doesn't mean that your art is bad. It shows just that you need to reach the next level and the art block is like your boss fight. At the end you will always win and grow, but only if you work hard and just keep on doing. So maybe we can now understand better what's happening in our head if we find ourselves in situations when we suddenly see only mistakes in our art. The key is always to continue drawing. If you're an artist or an aspiring artist, tell me in the comments down below what you do if you find yourself in this situation and maybe you'd like to share some of your advice, because this could be pretty helpful for others. And in case you still find yourself in an art blog after all, here's my video about art blogs where you can find out of what kind of art blog you might suffer from and how to get rid of it. And if you're looking for ideas to improve at drawing, just click the video on the right. Thank you so much for watching, take care and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!